Flint Wall are characters. By Nate Dryden, Felix Sorrell, Nate Chavez, and Brandon Byrne. Next slide. In 2014, the government of Flint attempted to make a cost saving switch from Detroit water to Flint's river water. Next slide. The pipes transporting the water turned out to be hazardous, emitting high levels of lead into the water as seen on this scale. Next slide, please. This is not the first time faulty pipes have caused issues in small towns. In Little Falls, Minnesota, all water was pumped directly from the city's well into the water system. The well had not been checked for safety in years, and almost all pipes were over a half a century old. The pipes were made out of iron and emitted large amounts of iron into the water, making the water distasteful and discolored. Next slide, please. When you start seeing all of these facilities starting to hit a certain age, and the funding isn't keeping up to help rehabilitate or build new, we are going to be facing a crisis, said Elizabeth Weffel, a lobbyist for the, lo the Coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities. Taking all of this into consideration, we feel like we have found one core problem. The pipes that the government of Flint switched into to in order to save money uh, emitted lead into the water, making the water toxic and causing a public safety issue. This problem poses two solutions. One, a complete replacement of all faulty lead service pipes, or two, a constant watch of the quality of the city's water that is shared publicly. Next slide, please. Next slide. So one solution for Flint is to completely replace, oh, next slide, sorry. One solution for Flint is to completely replace all of the lead service lines. The video on the left is how they replace lead service lines, and the picture on the right is uh, what a service line actually is, and it's what feeds from the pipe under your street to give you tap water. So Sammy Zeron, who is the co-director for the Center of Disasters and Risk Analysis at Colorado State University, says the lead exposure benefits of SLR service line replacement are evaluated by analyzing Sentinel data on hundreds of repeatedly uh, homes in Flint from February 16, to 2016 to July 21, 2017. Comparing WL, water lead, and homes with and without lead service lines. Samples taken from homes with lead service lines were significantly more likely to exceed specific thresholds of WL than homes without lead service lines. Julia Shen, who is with the University of North Georgia, says, for a permanent solution to the damaged pipelines, a, a complete replacement of all lead service lines is necessary. This would involve replacing all of the water lines in the front yard and driveway of each household in the city. Doing so is estimated to cost over $1.5 billion according to Flint's mayor, Karen Weaver. And the collateral impact on the residents' daily life would also be painfully inconvenient. Next slide, please. So the limitations of this problem is that it's incredibly expensive. If done fully, it would be $1.5 billion as an estimate. And, and some people think they'll do it in small sample sizes, but that would still cost $172 million. It would also take. It would also be from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. to do one house, and that would take a ton of time to get to all of one. It also takes a ton of equipment, if you saw in the video. And some implications are: it would almost fully solve the the problem at hand, but it would be incredibly inconvenient for residents, as they would have to be at home all day, and streets would be closed due to all the equipment necessary for service line improvement. It would also be hard on big taxpayers because most of the budget would be, would be coming from taxes. Next slide, please. Okay, poor water quality is a problem that poses a huge risk to many. For that reason, our group believes that every city and town in America should have robust and scientifically accurate machines and scientists working around the clock to observe the quality of their water. Their findings should be released in constant, timely reports to the entire community for free. The image on the left is one of the water monitoring systems that we are referencing and the solution. Next slide, please. If every city and town had the solution, water quality issues would be spotted before citizen health risks, allowing the city to call on specialized scientists and engineers to fix these issues. Eugene Lang's College Associate Professor of Chemistry, Bahawandi Vankaraman, states, 
If only these experts had been consulted, perhaps this crisis in Flint could have been averted. Some major cities already have water, robust water monitoring systems. The United States Environmental Protection Agency states that in 2018, the Philadelphia Water Department has 38 fixed stations of the new online water monitor quality monitoring and distribution systems. Unfortunately, this implementation of these systems is very costly. This may pass small town budgets. The graph on the left right there is a chart of a small sample size of water monitoring in Flint. And you can see that it already exceeds $250,000, which may be too much for small towns. Next slide, please. This solution may be limited to bigger cities because the cost of this implementation may be too expensive for small towns. The, if this system were applied today, every family, regardless of wealth, would know the quality of their water at all times. The government would be able to better predict future crises and avert them and make better informed decisions about new water sources. Next slide. Okay, the chart displayed here shows the land levels from Flint's water compared to major cities of Michigan. There was a sharing surge of lead measured in parts per billion PPV in 2011. And this was due to Rick Snyder's low management of water quality. Similarly, there was a sharing decline of lead levels for most cities. And this was also due to Rick Snyder declaring a national emergency, except one of them, which was Flint. Film was even more poorly managed by mayor by the by the mayor, causing detrimental effects to the people. Next slide, please. Now, both solutions have their ups and downs. The first solution is definitive but very cost heavy. The second solution is very time consuming but won't require as much money than a full pipe replacement. After viewing their positives and negatives, we found that the pipe replacement will have immediate action in the Flint water crisis. While the second solution focuses on the future, the first one is more current. The Flint water crisis is ongoing and the first solution is more effective. According to chemical biology major Kevin Pels, quote, lead removal is a problem that can be directly addressed. The process is expensive and the ones with the least money are affected. Molly Cagle, an environmental lawyer regarding the water quality, describes the abhorrent condition of the city. Quote, the corrosive river water ate away at the aging drinking water distribution pipes, owned and operated by the city, as well as the homes served by it, dissolving the lead pipes until faucets ran brown. Considering its expensive faucet, the first solution will set a rudimentary base for Flint's recovery. Thank you. practiced it out or you're really, really lucky.